Hey everyone, AppChasers.com here. Today we're taking a look at our first WebOS app. Now this is uh, for the HP Touchpad. Uh, you can see here we've got the Touchpad running. And we're going to take a look at a document reader app that you might be familiar with. has a long history with Palm products and is now available on uh, just a huge number of uh, platforms. And that's iSilo. Let's take a look here. So we're going to go into our apps, and actually we've got iSilo right down here in our dock already. So we'll just open it up here, and I see how quickly it opens. Now what is iSilo? Well, if you are familiar with uh, Palm products, I know uh, we used to use them back in the day, uh, long before the new generation of touch devices, but iSilo was an excellent document reader, uh, actually one of the favorites out there. Many businesses uh, used these uh, PDB files or Palm database files which iSilo reads. Um, for internal documents um, it's very easy with iSilo X for the desktop to convert uh, HTML files into uh, portable um, static documents. Um, so it's really nice in that regard. Now lots of businesses still have those documents that they refer to and would like to do it on these new devices like the HT, HP Touchpad. So let's take a look. Let's get right into uh, iSilo here. Uh, now this is also available, like we said, on lots of devices. Um, we have them on our iPhones, our iPads. Um, just great uh, great app here in iSilo. So here we go. We're going to take a look. Now you see here our, is our initial interface this is showing the documents that we have available to us and these were put on the HP touchpad through the USB cable uh, hooked up to our computer so the you know you can go in there and uh, say that the touchpad is a drive and then uh, go ahead drag and drop those files that you've got uh, right onto the touchpad in the documents folder and then into the iSilo folder a little bit of information there, but just letting you know how to get documents into iSilo. Um, now I know that on the uh, iPhone and the iPad, iSilo does download uh, wirelessly if you have an internet link or you can, I believe, transfer wirelessly from your computer too. So I, I didn't see a way that you could do that though on the HP touchpad. But anyways, we'll continue to take a look here. So I've downloaded the uh, CIA World Factbook. Let's take a look at that. Now, it does take a, a minute to open. But as you can see here, we've got uh, our basically table of contents. And you'll notice that it's laid out just like a web page. The links work. Um, let's go to Belgium here. We've got maps that we can look at. Uh, see the scrolling works. I've actually set up auto scrolling on this so what that means is if we tap here at the bottom of the screen it's gonna go ahead and start auto scrolling for us which is great if you're reading uh, long documents um, e even ebooks uh, it'll scroll for you while you're reading so that's great we'll just touch it again and it goes back to our normal uh, touch scrolling here that we've got. Now there's a lot of, of uh, viewing uh, options available in iSilo. So if we go up here to the iSilo uh, menu up in the corner, uh, we'll hit edit and give us our options. So this is going to bring up our options uh, dialog box here, box here. So we've got fonts, um, relative and absolute. So right now we've got it set to largest font, but we can even go to tiny font and notice how the screen the web page changes here. Shouldn't say web page, but this uh, PDB uh, document that we've got open here in iSilo. We're going to go back in there. That's a little bit too small for me. So we'll go back into our options. Now, since it was set to absolute, that's going to change every document uh, within your iSilo uh, database here, or the um, all the documents that you have loaded in. I've got it on largest here. I like that. Um, we've got fonts to use, we've got default set there. Let's go over into content uh, tab here. We've got um, table layout, text is normal, magnification, you can even go set it to the largest font and then go even larger, which is a little bit uh, ridiculous, but we'll go back in here and change that back. 
All right, so we're already in content. We're on 4x. Go to none. All right, and we'll go over into UI. And you can see what what do we want the title bar to say? Well, right now it's the document title. We can also have the file name or just have it say iSilo. Uh, we'll go into location, automatic, or page, percentage. I guess that would mean wherever you are in the document from 0 to 100% through that document. Go over into scroll. Now I've got auto scroll set up here already at one line at a time. You can also set it to smooth uh, so it's not just jumping from one line to the next as it scrolls but it's a, more of a smooth uh, uh, I guess motion that it does here. Um, we'll go over into color. You can set up some colors. Right now we don't have a theme. We'll go in here. We'll say uh, oh, let's just say I silo theme and we'll make our text color white and we'll make the background black down here and we'll say OK and uh, I'll click on it here Let's see if that will change our document. There we go. So you can see iSilo is just excellent for uh, the the UI and how you can just edit documents on the fly. Now you're not actually editing the document just editing the view here. We'll go back into our edit. I actually really like that uh, black on white. It seems pretty white on black. I should say pretty easy to read. Um, now we can go into our tips. Uh, this is neat. This is actually how you're going to um, interact with iSilo. You can set up uh, basically a zones of the screen. For example, here I've got single tap. That will be in the center of the screen. Down here, you might have noticed that's where I was touching for auto scroll. So that I set that up. Just touch that. And you can say, okay, well, what command do I want to do by touching that part of the screen? Make the font smaller. Make it larger. Let's do that. Let's say uh, make the font smaller there. And we'll set the top to make it larger. We'll see what that does. So we'll go back into our document. Oh. Okay, there goes the font, getting smaller and smaller. We'll tap up and bring it back to normal. You can see the wonderful um, options here within iSilo. We'll go back out um, to our document list. Okay, we've got some other documents. Right now, pre-installed comes the, um, the manual for iSilo. Open that up, and we'll hit our home button. So there's our uh, different features that we can access within iSilo. We'll go back to our document list here. And you'll notice that next to each document, for example, I've got the Greek alphabet here, there's a small icon. It looks almost like a, a page icon. If we click on that, oh, looks like I missed it there. There's our Greek alphabet. We'll go back over here. I'm going to click on that icon. Now we've got a new menu that comes up, open categories, rename the document, find out some information and copy it. What that allows you to do is you can create folders within iSilo, copy documents into the different folders and then uh, better categorize all your documents. But we'll go into, into information here and it's going to give us uh, the name of the document, where it's located within iSilo, um, the date it was created, um, just some nice information. So overall that's iSilo for WebOS we're reviewing it on the HP touchpad. Excellent document reader. Um, if you have a long history with Palm, you're going you're gonna to remember the name iSilo, and you're going to remember uh, using it on whether it was the Trio that you were using or a number of other devices that supported it. Again, you can get iSilo. It's available on WebOS now, on the iOS app store as well. So go out there and check it out if this is what uh, interests you in reading some of these uh, documents. iSilo for WebOS gets our app chasers four and a half star rating.